Hey Sarah, how you doing? So I got I've got your front cover up here just so we can kind of take a look at consistency. We got some some nice consistency here, and I think this works. But boy, I, I just I I understand the taper in those those, but I just think that they should be a little bit thicker, only to represent kind of the that um, that stem that vertical stem of the M. I just think that they, these these strokes should just be a little bit thicker. You can keep the taper, but just think about the thickest part of the stroke almost being as thick as the the, the vertical stroke on the M. I think that's really going to create some really wonderful. Uh, visual relationships between the, that actual DNA strand and the the, the M. Um, the 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 cover's a winner, no doubt. I, I think it's fantastic. I, I really think you've done a nice job here, and we're looking pretty good here. So I think we've got two versions here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we do. So what I'm going to do here is let's go to pages, and I'm going to recommend. I just want to get rid of one of these, and I think that based on some of my recommendations, I think we're going to get rid of this one right here. So let's just. I just don't want to confuse. Let's get rid of that. Select it. So we'll just do that. That's I'll drop that page, and then we only have this page. Okay, excellent. So we'll get rid of it. Get rid of that. That. Let's come out. We'll have, now we'll have a, a, a nice look at what we need to do. Now this is super, super, super text heavy. Too, too heavy. There's too much text here. Remember, this is an 11 by 17 poster, so it's like like this. Or this is vertical, so it's like this. Right. So it's a big piece and there's just there's just way too much text on this piece. You don't need nearly this much text um, in a poster. You, you're, you're talking about somebody having to come up here and spend several minutes in front of the poster. And that's not really what a poster is all about. A poster is about kind of giving a, a kind of a good overview without really getting into way, way too much detail, which we have here. So I would definitely edit this to about a quarter of this this amount of type. Um, I'll, we'll, we'll get in and take a look at some typography in a second. But right now, watch your margins. This is just too close. This isn't a no print zone right here. You're just right up on the edge. Now you can bleed the, the DNA strand, absolutely. But look at the difference between your top and bottom margin. Bottom margin, actually, there's your, your, your uh, uh, you're going to reconfigure that type anyway. So, so just in this situation, that would be a perfect chance to to align the bottom of that last entry with the baseline. Uh, but I, that's irrelevant because I'm going to re recommend some changes. Okay, so um, looks good. Looks good. Um, so basically, what you have here, this is as a weird configuration. And the reason I say it is because you've got the the, the year. And then these are left aligned and they're pulled over to the left margin, but the indented ones are are kind of pulled in. Uh, so theoretically, this should fall in line with this, this margin right here. It's the only one that doesn't. And I know it's the shortest, so you could either consider of adding some type here, but you definitely want to get that into alignment right here. Old style figures, I'm telling you something, it's it's several students have really, really taken on to old style figures and small caps, and I definitely recommend you do so. If you have any questions at all, just refer to the week. This is the Welcome to Week 4 video, and in it, we I talk a lot about old style figures, um, how to use old style figures, so plenty of resources in here, how to set old style figures through your open type menu, M dash, N dash, dash, the differences in there in small caps versus all caps, and here's how to set all of that. So definitely want to take a look at that and start employing the use of small caps versus all caps and old style figures as opposed to uh, standard figures. Um, if your typeface doesn't have open type capabilities, what you could do is reduce the size. In this situation, it wouldn't matter because it's not in line with body text. The idea is to bring the number a little bit closer in line or to, or to bring the all, the all caps a little bit in closer in line with the X height of the, the typeface. That way they don't stand out like a sore thumb as we can see they do here. Um, all caps and, and um, numerals stand out like a sore thumb in, in, in composition. Of course, there's a 13, there's that, that there's DNA. Um, I mean, I can go through, there's a year, there's, there's uh, small caps, 
there's small caps, there's a, a numeral, old style, small caps. You see what I'm saying, small caps? So anywhere there's all caps, change it to small caps. Anywhere there's, there's standard numerals, change it to old style numerals. Again, in the body copy, if you don't have access to open type capability, what you would do is just come in here and reduce the size of it. Um, reduce the scale. And the same thing with numbers. Reduce the scale so they're more in line with the X height and maybe a point or two, not much more at all. But um, think about that. I think that'll bring your type to the next level. Okay, next thing I wanna do is I wanna recommend or kind of bring your attention to the fact that in, in uh, typography, you don't have to indent the first paragraph. In, uh, in, indents or spaces before indicate a new paragraph. Since this is the first par paragraph, you don't need to do that. I think your indents are a little too deep in the, in the uh, you're, you're like nine characters deep here. I would just say maybe three, four characters tops based on the width of the, the uh, type selection here. Um, another alternative to um, uh, indent is a space before, and what that is is a space between the paragraphs. I think I, it, it does a great job preserving that gorgeous left margin. I prefer it, but it's, it's a matter of preference. Uh, again, if you don't decide to do a space between, space, uh, space before paragraph would be set up in paragraph styles. And it would be expected that you would do so. And I could possibly, I'm going to be asking probably randomly a lot of students to submit their uh, um, InDesign files next week so I can check for character styles. Okay, uh, technically that should be a hanging punctuation. That should be a hanging quote. Uh, if you Google hanging punctuation in InDesign, it's really simple to do. Basically what it does is it pulls that punctuation into the uh, away from the margin just to preserve that left margin. It's not applicable in rag right because of course it, it, it there is no margin to preserve. Um, okay, okay, okay. A couple of recommendations here. Let me get back off here a little bit. And I just want to think about creating a little bit more consistency from the front to the back. And I kind of want to draw this red and blue into typography. Now, now follow me on this because it's a really cool technique. What you could do here is take this type, duplicate it, okay, pull it over to the side here, set it in the red, then bring it back and set it behind the blue type, perfectly behind the blue type so you can't see anything at all. Then take the red type, nudge it down and to the right a little bit, and it'll you'll start seeing little bits of the red. It's almost a dimensional um, uh, te technique. But it's, it's going to draw this strand right into the type beautifully. So think about that. Again, to, 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 to review that, duplicate the type, change the color, place it behind exactly, nudge it down and to the right a little bit until you start seeing little bits of red underneath and to the right of the type. It's a great technique, and it's also a technique that we can also do on the back. And, and what I would recommend is this, is you can do a couple of things here. As I said, that the, 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 this image looks like it's forced, and because the reason being is because this is so text heavy. Once you reduce the amount of text, you're going to start increasing the amount of, of negative space associated with the the um, composition itself. So what you could do here is this, is since that first line is not, even if you decide to indent, the first line is not going to be indented. So let's get a nice drop cap in there. Uh, let's go three or four lines deep on that. I think four lines would be good because this type is pretty small. And you might also in, to consider increasing the type size once you reduce the amount of type that there is here. Um, so anyways, drop cap, you would take the do the same thing. So you would take the blue drop cap, right? Duplicate it, place the red one behind it, nudge it down so you, you're actually duplicating that same technique so it, it coincides here. Then you can do the same thing with the image. Take a, um, actually, I don't think the image would need it. Um, so, so anyways, you're going to have to find a place to place the image once you reduce the type. Now, I want to talk about rags a little bit. So think about rags. I think your rags aren't bad, but in some areas, there's a big difference between the, 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 the lines. You don't want that. You want the rags to be as to staggered, but not depicting any kind of, like, this is a really drastic rag right there. The difference between the longest and shortest lines. And then you don't want any angles like this. Okay, so think about that. Okay, other than that, I think that you're looking pretty darn good here. So really, really good. Now, if you want to make these changes and run it by me again, that's great. I will see these changes again later on. We'll have another checkpoint. Um, we'll see this Sunday. We'll have another checkpoint next week. So, um, so those are my recommendations. All right. Now, I'm thinking that reducing these yeah so remember i said that's too close a really good tactic would be to 
uh, align that top, that top year with the um, the the top of the, the the text boxes right here. Okay. All right. So great start. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, clarifications. Of course, let me know, and I will be glad to um, accommodate. So um. Yeah, a great start. Really good start. I'm, I'm loving the direction. Thank you very much.